Former President Bush met virtually with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky last week. Bush referred to Zelensky as the Winston Churchill of our time. Oh, Bush went on to say that Zelensky assured him Ukraine will not waver in their fight against Putin's barbarism and thuggery and added that we will continue to stand with Ukrainians as they stand up for their freedom. Why, oh do, why does gosh. Zelensky have to promise <laughs> to George Bush that their commitment's not going to waver? Like, it's up to Zelensky. Zelensky's the decision maker here. If his pe if the people don't want him to do it, then like he should. Now he enjoys the support of the people, and I, I think he's doing the best that he can. But he doesn't owe George Bush a promise or a commitment to keep going, right? I mean, that's Especially kind of a very weird thing. Especially George Bush. I mean, talk about the hypocrisy of George W. Bush. The, we invaded Iraq. Okay, I mean. Uh, I, and, and an invasion based on nothing, based on lies, actually. And here you've got Bush sitting with Zelensky. I mean, why isn't, but just go back to painting your paintings, W. Mm -hmm. You know, just go like, go sit in your bathtub, soak and paint some paintings. I do like but the this, paintings. Oh, yeah, okay, I mean, yeah, you know, I'm sure. <laughs> Do you have one? Did you have you bought one? Or no, I have a collection kind of, going. I'm, oh. just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but this is just like the yeah. strangest thing for why is he out of retirement talking to Zelensky when Bush was the one who's, you know, before Donald Trump was considered the worst president. I still consider him the worst U.S. president that we've had in my lifetime for sure. Donald Maybe Trump or George Bush? George Bush. Mm. Uh, Trump was just annoying. Fine, you know, Twitter. Okay, who cares? He didn't actually do anything devastating and destructive. George W. Bush caused innocent people to die. That is the worst you could, that, that's way, you know, people should stop caring about Twitter so much. Death, actual death and destruction is a real bad thing. George W. Bush actually did that. And then he's sitting down with Zelensky and he's like, we're gonna, uh, you know, wow, look at this Russia doing this real bad thing to you, invading. They have, just go back to painting and soaking in your bathtub, seriously. <laughs> I, I, I agree with what you're saying. For almost the entirety of the Trump presidency, I thought George Bush was a worse president. I said that multiple times. I said, right, for exactly the reason you're describing, you know, you're right, your frustration with Trump's tweets is, is not the same as, you know, thousands or, or, or more dead. Hundreds of thousands. Uh, right, dead uh, children. So it's hard to, but Trump went out on such an ugly note. My 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 conviction of that belief did waver at the very end when when I was living right, okay. living under lockdown and and in, insane people attacking the Capitol and tanks everywhere. Like the most dystopian kind of environment I've ever seen in my life. Like man, this did all happen under Trump. Uh, and it, well, it, the lockdowns didn't have anything to do with him. That was because you're living in D.C. and you've got a, a Democratic mayor, yeah. right? But, so, he went, but Trump yes. went along with them. I mean, tr I mean, we that right. We were just talking about that. Trump is, is his pandemic approach was very um, uh, muddled to say to say yeah, the best. Yeah, right, he, he was right. undermining his health officials in in sort of backhanded ways, but then actually doing what they told him to do and not really contesting the kind of lockdown mindset. So it, it was almost the worst of both worlds in some ways. Yeah, I mean, I have a difficult time kind of blaming any politician, I guess, for the pandemic. I mean, I, I blame them for their response if they were really right. heavy handed, like with lockdowns and mandates and stuff like that. But the virus is going to virus. There's nothing really a politician can do about it uh, as much as they try. As we've seen, nothing can stop the spread. It's just going to do what it does. And all we could do is try to protect ourselves as best as possible. But still... Uh, you know, you living under, the, as you mentioned, that dystopian nightmare where you're seeing tanks and the Capitol's all, uh, you know, fenced off because of what happened. People in Iraq dealt with that to an yeah, exponential yeah, level. Yeah. That was even way worse. They were seeing their, their buildings bombed, their cities invaded, their children dead. Bush is still, in my book, way, 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 way worse than Donald Trump. Uh, so, but yeah, I just... And all the, and all the, by the way, let's keep in mind, all the... It, but it wasn't just, right, it, this wasn't just George Bush's unilateral decision to invade Iraq. It actually wasn't unilateral. Like, it, was, it had broad support from actually the mainstream media, from the, the New York yeah. Times. There was all sorts of, all these people who claimed to be so worried about disinformation, uh, both in the media and in the government, were active participants in, 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 in this massive intelligence failure that resulted in widespread death. It has it has shattered forever uh, the kind of uh, uh, 
consensus. Any, any type of political consensus is now impossible because so many people just inherently distrust everything they hear from, from elites, from people like this, because they did get it so wrong this time. And, uh, and they bear responsibility for that. George Bush bears responsibility for that, but, but so do the, the appar so many other apparatus, apparatuses, apparati <laughs> of, <laughs> of, our, of our government and our, and our media and uh, who, are, you know, who well, still have credibility. But it wasn't just that one time, right? I mean, they're wrong a lot and they're getting it. No, they're, they're, they're championing war everything. all the time and, yeah. and regime change all the time. And I mean, look at what they're doing now with Ukraine. It's all the time. So there's a reason not to trust them. It wasn't just that one time. Well, thank you for that. We will be back <laughs> with more Rising in just a minute.